hello people, today with us is Carmen. Uh, Carmen is in one word, we can say artist. So Carmen uh, likes painting, uh, Carmen likes music, Carmen uh, creating uh, masks. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> tell me Carmen, uh, how I said art, so what art means for you? Uh, at the moment uh, it's become a bigger part of my life because I have been creating much more than before and also I realized that this is who I am so I don't imagine a life without art anymore so for me it's like part of me at the moment uh, so yeah we can start maybe from music example uh, how we know you play many instruments <laughs> you play accordions drums yeah I mean I wouldn't say play but I'm learning because uh, when I was younger I used to play keyboards a little bit and then nothing for years and then just one year ago this something happened and it opened up music for me and I discovered that it's not just paintings that I can also create in sorts of a tunes so yes I have accordion, many flutes, digitals and anything that comes I try to play. <laughs> yeah. But you was not in school for music. Yeah, I was uh, when I was a little girl for four years, but I never was good with reading shit music or with, um, you know, like just theory. That's not just I listen. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and last time uh, you are part of IC project in Medvode, yes. where we they're doing uh, some uh, wall in uh, Kulturni yes, Center Jedro. This is the first time that I actually did a mural, but it wasn't just a mural, it was it's, it's a whole area, a 3D space, and I got an amazing opportunity to just do whatever I want with it. But, I, there was one rule, just don't go too deep in your mind, but it's a, a challenge for me also. And this is something that opened up a lot of new experiences for me, as well as um, I enjoyed every part of it. And also it made me realize that I can do a lot more than just paint on canvas or uh. a mask. So that uh, actually that wall that is one room and uh, how we know you call that we call that uh, magic yeah, magic room, room magic so room. in that room uh, magic you toilet room magic toilet room yeah. <laughs> so you included the uh, painting but also you put many yeah masks yeah there, it yeah. was like a collision of everything like this and also a wall and. 2D into 3D, everything is um, connected in a way. And this was also a challenge for me, just to include the 3D space and what to do and how to include and how to pro progress from 3D to 2D because I wanted to be all in one like piece. And it was a really nice journey for me. <laughs> okay, so also, yeah, me, uh, also you did one uh, tutorial for kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah. with uh, members of IC Medvode project yes. and actually I want to ask you uh, when you started making masks and uh, from where that come what uh, was influence to start? I think the first mask was done about five years ago I would say and it was just uh, you know for post and it was like uh, or I, maybe it was Halloween I don't remember but it was like a party and there was like a costume party bring a mask or something and I was like yeah I'm creative I'm gonna make my own mask I'm not going to buy it and because I like a bit of a creepy stuff I remember one character from one movie and I said yeah I like the, the how this character crawls under your skin I'm gonna take this character and I'm gonna make it my own way and then I did this Where is it? This this one. What? <laughs> this one was the first one. This one. Yeah. And when I did this one, I realized that it's something I really like. And then I just started making more and more masks. I have a pile of masks. <coughs> yes, yeah. and uh, it's just something that um, is really interesting to me because um, for me it makes me 
like see a creature that it's not usually there and you're just like oh I don't know make something make a troll or something and then you see a troll and it's like wow that's why I, I really enjoy making masks not to hide things but becoming something else uh, okay one more questions about masks so you're doing uh, different things and people probably will see it uh, but uh, somebody can say that uh, your masks are scary yeah, but, uh, like but, <laughs> but actually if it's something scary what can be opposite of scary in this world I mean it's a, you know it's really a subjective term what's scary for something I mean if you're afraid of, if afraid of spiders spiders will be scary for you but I'm not and I see them interesting they're not scary for me so it's really like how you see things and yes, I, I, I tend to go more o o on a dark and creepy side, but again, in this dark light thing, it's just a term. It's not you know, how you see it. For me, it brings me joy. And it, the thing is that I, I see the reactions of people and that's what, what it buys me, you know? Because when you do something, you think, oh, so cute. But when you do, you know, something like, and people are just staring they're not sure how to react and some are just like you know that's creepy I said, thank you uh, it's supposed to be this way and also my mind likes things like this i like to go for it it's not imagine how <laughs> creatures are behind trees and all the trees are creatures and I'm <laughs> but you... my mind likes it do you have some interesting like reaction of the people which tell you for your masks can you tell one story example oh wow oh, i don't know but i don't know if i go somewhere people are just like i said they're shocked they're like they don't know how to react sometimes but it's i, I don't see it as so bad they can be a lot more creepy but again you know like people are just like you're so scary to be around and like thank you thank you <laughs> because I, I that's the intention i like when people you know like it takes them somewhere and if I do again if I do something even with the paintings if I do something that makes people look at it and it takes them somewhere doesn't need to be bad places or something that's they like to, uh. I mean to to express something that makes people go into their own stuff <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, you like music festivals, you vis visited uh, many of them, yes. but uh, once uh, you had experience that you actually came there and you, you like Participate. participated, you helped uh, to learn people how yes. they can make masks and something. Uh, so. Not to make masks, but I just cooperated with the people that do the decorations on the festival yeah. and um, it wasn't based on masks, so just making some art stuff there and yeah. see the whole process of becoming a festival. It was really interesting. It's a small festival, but still interesting. Okay. So, what more from art, from art? You like writing? Uh, I sometimes I write poems, but not in a while now. And also, um, when I try to express something, words are really limited. So I just express it by painting something. Yeah. But yes, I like words. Mm. What do you think about animals? I love animals. <laughs> I love animals, yeah. yes. Um, I think they're an important part of the world. I think they are many times much better than humans, but <laughs> that's another subject. Mm. Yes, I have, I have tortoise who is yeah. hibernating in the middle is somewhere. Yeah. Dog and we saw one cat here also. Yes, yeah. also. <laughs> yeah. And many um, unearthly beings. Okay, that was Carmen. <laughs> and this is her imaginary friend. Yeah. Thanks. Maybe then I put my, this is, this is a, a joker, you know, that, that was Carmen and this is her other side. I put the okay. pig on and that's Esther. Hello. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Ta ciao, ciao. Yeah. <laughs>
we are in program. <laughs> uh, uh, today with us is uh, Sandy. 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 Okay. I, I, <laughs> last time I, I, I missed the pronunciation. Uh, so tell me, Sandy, uh, where you live? Uh, how old are you? And uh, how are you feeling today? Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm feeling well. Thank you. Uh, I'm 23 years old and currently I live in woods. <laughs> it's above uh, Navagorica, in on the border with uh, Italy and Slovenia. So that's that, pretty much yeah, it. Yeah. Well, so. so actually what is your, um, how to say, uh, what's your work, what's your thing, what you like to do the most in your life? <laughs> Yeah, so for a few years now I was just working in little restaurants, cooking and serving food. But somewhere in the middle I kind of discovered that I like more to go to nature or to play some music or to be with interesting people more than this kind of earning money and all of those things. So now I don't have a job. <laughs> but I'm just going around and helping people with some work that they have to do and they let me to live with them for some time and then I go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting. Actually that life some people call uh, minimalism or something like that. So yeah. you're living uh, day by day, you yeah. need just I, enough, yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't call it minimalism, I would call it just that what you need yeah because when you're closed in this kind of housing system then you need think you need <laughs> yeah. there is one good song of one guy he said the more you think you need you need more space it's not like that but it's something like that yeah i i really have all the things that I, I I'm sometimes surprised of how many things I have and how beautiful things you can see. So it's not very minimalistic. It's very colorful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just not my possession. Um, you like music? Oh, I adore yeah. music. You play some instruments? I've I started playing a drum. Yeah. A few months ago. And I like all of other instruments, but some of them are quite hard to play it like I play things because it's very intuitive, we can say. But then it, it stops after some point. And with drum you can play. <laughs> um, also from some other things, you like painting, writing or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I sometimes I, I paint some things. Yeah? So I do little sketches. You like books? Hmm, I like books. Write or read? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I even wrote sometimes yeah. one, one thing. It could be a book, but it's just there. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I don't read really much, much, because I have some kind of philosophy that I like my thoughts to be just clear and to see things as they are like this without some other's perspective. And then when I need something, I get some book or something and then it go, comes. Tell me something, uh, example, have you said uh, right now you don't work but uh, if you need uh, to work, if you need something, you can really easily find something because yeah. you just believe in that and that's like your... Yeah, always, yeah. until now yeah. I never went for a job conversation or yeah. how is it called, but always I just went somewhere like just for some music or something like that and then somebody would offer something on, or he would ask me if I need something yeah. or something like that. So. It was always something like that. But it's also easy to find when you know how to cook. It's easy to find the job. Yeah. Or, um, especially when there, there are many tourists. So it's, yeah. it's okay. Uh, motivation, actually, that's the one thing what people 
through the life always looks. Uh, mm. So tell me, uh, for motivation, you just need a wide, how to say, wide look on the life, or you need some reward? What what can you give some? Oh, maybe no, I no. didn't ask the best. Maybe no, I no, I, I can yeah. understand it perfectly. Yeah. It's, mm, I would say, it depends, though. You know, if you live your life just, you know, to live it or to live it best you can or yeah. something like it. I believe it is not really your idea that is also with the, those books what I say, you know, because you think you need to. <laughs> and then you do many things because of that. And that is some kind of motivation. And for that kind of belief, it's enough you can do. So you have to be focused for that kind of motivation. Yeah. But for this kind of motivation that I feel, you just have to think about this a bit. And then if you think about this, mm, it becomes more interesting. It is motivation by itself, I would say. Because it's uh, all is interesting. But you have to think about why are you, are you here or yeah, what, yeah. what exactly is <laughs> happening around <laughs> but it's good yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so, so. so do you have some uh, message uh, to other people what can be interesting some like kind of motto or just one sentence what can give a it will be cheesy though <laughs> but um I would I would I would use this one just to relax and <laughs> to love. Yeah. But not love, you know, because of love. Something. Of desire or something. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, oh that is special kind of love. <laughs> but you know we love many things just because yeah. of something, you know. And uh, and I believe that we do love, you know, because when they say oh love love why they say love love because you know what that is. Yeah. And then if you really look at like that without judgment and your opinion and your protection and your affection or yeah. something like that, then all is just beautiful. So actually I want to say love is actually Corona also. Love is actually maybe state of mind, not just uh impulse. Love is love is love is definitely state of mind, I would say. But it is one of the nicest ones. <laughs> So let's choose that one yeah. until we have to choose. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sandy. Sandy, thank, thank you. you. And yeah, that was Sandy. And uh, yeah, that was, he was, he will be. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, in the beginning, um, we cooperated with um, our friend um, um, Job. He had a on parole record label. Uh, he helped us uh, with almost all the, the um, albums. Um, but the, the, um, this year, the, the, when we will release the new album, um, we will really uh, release this on our own. Um, so yeah, actually we always uh, cooperated with the Slovenian label. Um, and that's... Uh, yeah, about studio stuff, we, we used to, to do a lot of things on our own in the beginning, but then we, we decided to go to professional studios and the results were way better because of the whole equipment and technology and stuff like that. And also the, the guy who is uh, sound technicians is also uh, two, two, uh, two extra years, you know? And so it sounds way better now. But yeah, it were nice, nice memories um, of our first recordings demo recordings and also actually the first label was not from Chop, it was Play Records but later on yeah, we, we got together with On Parole but now like Dasha said we are on our own again uh, We are learning from every CD yeah. <laughs> We changed something <laughs> and Tell me where was your first gig actually, first concert Do you remember that time? Um, I, I remember my first concert, but um, they had it like one year yeah. before me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dasha joined in 2002, but our first show, uh, actually our first official show was in 2001 in a festival called School South here in Medvode. Um, we played with, we were an opening act and some other bands and a lot of people came, so we were really, really happy. Uh, but in that period you still played covers or you had... Uh... Mostly, mostly originals. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I think it's just Emma Evil from, from um, Diamond Head or Metallica. It was, I think, the only cover that we, we did. We did. Uh -huh. In that time? Yeah, in, on the first. On the first. So later on we did a lot of covers because we played at bikers meetings and yeah. you had to play covers. Um, but now we do just almost just originals, maybe one cover on the show. Yeah. Yeah, and my first was in 2002. I played drums for three months yeah. and I had to learn all their songs. Um, so yeah, it was also in that Vode on a biker's music. Yeah. And, yeah. and then <laughs> at that, uh, at her first show, we also recorded a video for Navi Svet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It the was, first video. It was her first show. Yeah. <laughs> we are here to civilize, civilize you. <laughs> Tell me, Dasha, you, how you how you came in band? They also found you in front of some market? No, or? no, we were actually hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, were, we were friends. I know Matei since we were kids, um, but um, but later, yeah, we were all into metal. We knew knew each other. I supported them as a band, and uh, once I got my drums, as I said, I only had my drums for three weeks when they decided that they want me in a band, but probably just because they, I was the only one with drums in that <laughs> time they knew. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't actually believe I will stay in the band for a long time. I actually asked them if they are serious um, to take me in the band because I didn't know anything except the, the, the one bit. Yeah. Um, and yeah. 20 years later, <laughs> so yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> but uh, your lyrics in uh, Right now, we could listen in last albums, last songs are on English, but the beginning was also the same, or you had some songs on uh, native language? Yeah, we had a lot of songs in Slovenian language. But later on, uh, yeah, actually, I wanted to, to, to write still a uh, mix, so in Slovenian and English, but the other members, uh, especially Miss Dasha, <laughs> she, uh, they wanted to do. Uh, to, to, to write just uh, English, so yeah. Uh, also, you had gigs and concerts uh, somewhere abroad. abroad yes. You played there. 
Um, actually, a lot of Europe, like Belgium, Netherlands, uh, Germany, um, Greece. Spain, Greece, um, Serbia, Serbia, yeah. Croatia, um, Italy. Uh, yeah, it was like yeah. but that was just not just because of, but uh, a lot of it was because we uh, cooperated with James from Hairstar, and he kind of opened the door for us um, to play abroad in yeah. that time. Yeah. Okay, my friends, the next one is on my start, on the N234. Let's go to the circus to be the point of refrain. We are here to make you feel like you are here, my friends! Okay, are we ready? Zaporiš bo v redu, zaporiš bo v redu. Ne, 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 šparite, šparite, šparite. Prije druga runda, tohle to bila sam za prvič. Gremo polovit tvoje medvode. Gremo mehem bolj z jajci se ja, prav. Na moj znak, na moj znak. To je možda ima neko zboljše, med vode. Ampak jaz vem, da vi lahko še več! Vem, da zmorete še več! Vem, da ste vaše glasnejši! Zato vam damo še zadnjo šansa, med vode. Dajte jaz koristen. Počnem zdaj vse, tukaj spredi, vse pre stran, vse zadi. Dajte vsi en glas od sebe. Vsi bote na kamerah, vsi bote na live plati. Fak, jedemo od sebe zdaj. Na moj znak, med vode! En, dva, tri, štep! So tell me now, uh, scene in Slovenia about heavy metal, rock and roll music is good or was better before? Slovenia scene is for as much as we are small, it's, it was really good, um, it still is, but the best um, it was around uh, from 2005 until, five and, uh, until 2012, something like that, because the shows were constantly full. Uh, especially uh, we were going a lot abroad to uh, visit like uh, Germany, German concert and everything. And once you go there every year you can see that you, you, you've seen familiar faces in Germany as well. So our sm small Slovenian scene was actually really big when you compare to Germany because it's like mm. you, you could um, really see that we are not so small. Because when you come to Slovenia there, there, there could be 300 people on the concerts for a band that in Germany should have like 3,000 people but they had it like the same as in Slovenia so we supported uh, a lot of big bands in the same uh, with the same amount of people as in as abroad so that's not so small for me <laughs> yeah, and you have a lot of good bands also <coughs> here yeah. um, maybe it's interesting when we started we were I think the only heavy metal band here because it was uh, the, um, most of the bands played more extreme music you know like black metal, death metal, stuff like that and uh, so it was very soft actually for that time yeah um, <laughs> yeah and they were cute they were um, mocking us like we were really really kids you know we were from I don't know 11 to 15 years old I think but when we started playing then uh, yeah, the okay. singer was 12 when he um, when we record the first album yeah. and when you listen to the CD you cannot hear that he is only 12.
you are both employed in some companies you are actually working and yeah. you cannot live from music in yeah Slovenia. that was my question yeah yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially, especially from, from heavy metal yeah. or metal in general okay yeah, unfortunately uh, so yeah next maybe question uh, will be can you say something to young people because right now uh, we could see there is still some kids they still playing music rock and roll metal or something like that and uh, you playing this like last 20 years so can you say something like very shortly for them but yeah <laughs> some little <laughs> message <laughs> yeah just be patient and be passionate and never give up and uh, play from your heart that's the most important thing and, and maybe <clears throat> the, in metal still the most important thing is that we're really really friends uh, and we have a sincere relationship and it's also important for, for, for a band okay. they want to stay on the scene for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what was your the greatest gig? Not like for for you. What was? Do you remember some concert that, that we like, played or that we visit? That you that you <laughs> played, yeah. Something like. Um, you had also curious. Yeah, Slovenia. probably the first gig that we played with James for me is in Mo and the New Year gig that we mm -hmm. played with James and all the metal camp metal days uh, shows. Um, and all the shows actually in 2006, from 2006 to 2008, yeah. they were all mm -hmm. good. Yeah, but yeah, probably that. Mm -hmm. Also, in Zayachar it was great. Zayachar, yes. But uh, I think Dasha likes uh, the biggest gigs, you know. I actually like more uh, some smaller clubs because it's uh, really intense, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I remember in. Uh, 2001, I think, when we, we released the demo, we played in Olski Pad in Shkopi Loka, and it was amazing. I still remember that gig because for me it was amazing. It was really packed, and a lot of people came just to see how the, these kids play so young, you know. And then when it started with Slayer, and everything, every yeah. all hell broke loose. <laughs>
was metal steel heavy metal band from Medvode. Yeah.